Welcome to Church Online. Welcome to Church Online. Let us prepare our hearts for worship. worship. <laughs> High five, buddy. And say, and you and say, Te quiero, Calvary. Te quiero, Calvary. A mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark never failing. Our helper, he amid the flood of mortal ills prevailing. For still our ancient foe doth seek to work us woe. His craft and power are great, and armed with cruel hate. On earth is not his equal. Did we in our own strength confide, our striving would be losing. Were not the right man on our side, the man of God's own choosing. Dost ask who that may be? Christ Jesus, it is he. Lord Sabaoth his name, from age to age the same. And he must win the Though this world with devils filled should threaten to undo us, we will not fear, for God hath willed his truth to triumph through us. The prince of darkness grim, we tremble not for him, his rage we can Let goods and kindred go, this mortal life also, the body they may kill, God's truth abideth still, his kingdom is forever. Holy God. We open our hearts to you this day and offer the truth of our lives. The fear that stifles us, the prejudice that blinds us, the ignorance that hobbles us, the doubt that plagues us, help us, we pray, that we will find courage in unlikely places, see the world with new and gracious eyes, move to those places where love is needed, have faith that you are with us. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hear the good news. We are forgiven. We are set free to believe in the goodness of God and to be the loving, gracious, hopeful people we were created to be. Alleluia. Amen. God, as we listen to the children of the ch church's responses, please help us not only take them to heart, but be entertained, and feel the love of our community. I hope even through this time, we will persevere and come back stronger than ever. Thank you, God. Amen. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing. Oh, praise Him, 
Alleluia Thou burning sun with golden beam Thou silver moon with softer gleam Oh, praise Him Oh, praise Him Alleluia 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 Thou rushing wind that art so strong Ye clouds that sail in heaven along Oh, praise Him Alleluia Thou rising morn in praise rejoice Ye lights of evening find a voice Oh praise Him Oh praise Him Alleluia 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 Let all things their Creator bless And worship Him in humbleness Oh, praise Him Alleluia Praise, praise the Father, praise the Son Praise the Spirit, three in one. Oh, praise Him. Oh, praise Him. Alleluia. 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 God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teach and admonish in one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your heart, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. drastic changes for me is like loss of extracurricular activities because a lot of times I wouldn't come home till like super late but now I have all this free time to like do things to do new things and work on school a lot because I don't really go to school anymore um mostly it's changed this uh, because the school is not home and I don't get to see my friends well, it changed was it's boring. I don't, but I can only, I can't see my friends. But the only time I see them is in FaceTime, and I'm pretty sure parents don't FaceTime. I lost my job at Collie's Coffee Shop, and all my classes at PCC went online. So I've been spending a lot of time at home, and I've started playing a lot of Sudoku and baking bread. So it's kind of annoying that you have to stay in your home. What do you like about having school at home? That, that you don't really have to like listen that much to teachers and all they do, and all you do is like read it yourself. And so it doesn't, like, it, it doesn't take that much time. Having school at home, I feel like 
we have I have a lot more work, but I also like how I can manage my own time. Less homework, more video games, and more spending money. That I get to sit in a comfier place. What do you think about wearing a mask? It's hard to breathe and it feels uncomfortable. Well, it gets a little sweaty in there. Wearing a mask and social distancing is um, pretty unusual and hard to get used to. Well, sometimes when I talk, the mask falls down and I can't touch the mask, so. I kind of don't like it because it's annoying because you don't really have enough air to breathe and it kind of gets hot, so I don't like wearing a mask. It kind of feels uncomfortable. Plus my breath really stinks. In what ways do your parents drive you crazy? Uh, my mom and my dad are just always, always here. Mom's obsession with bread making. You saying no video games. <laughs> and my dad is playing golf in the front lawn. And my mom wants me to guard it all the time. In what ways do you drive your parents crazy? Hmm. Well, one thing is you can keep asking for stuff or like keep whining. I feel like my parents don't drive me, cra me crazy, but um, we drive each other crazy, but in like very in minor ways. And I enjoy having a sibling. During quarantine, I have experienced or seen God when I have heard stories of other people shopping for people who are elderly or immunocompromised. I think I've experienced God more through quarantine than um, like outside of quarantine before because through Zoom calls, a lot of my Zoom calls are church oriented. Like I have a club that um, discusses God together and also asked to start a youth group and there's also the Calvary calls on Wednesday. I hope for the pandemic pandemic to be over. I hope that school's gonna come back and I get to see my friends again. I hope that this quarantine will go away and hopefully they make a vaccine. I hope for that my character comes out. I hope for that I succeed on my queen so I can spend eight dollars. I think it's very interesting that this happens while we're a like teenagers because um, our lives can be affected pretty drastically because we're still in, in school. And also we could um, like learn from this and go on to tell others about it like in the future. When COVID is over and self-quarantine is over and life is returning to normal or to a new normal, I want to go back to my job and I want to make myself a really big cup, a really good chai latte. I just want to drink it in peace. Um, I hope when all this is over we'll be able to learn from this experience and remember how we've been a community and we've helped each other and apply that even when there isn't something terrible happening and we'll, we'll just help each other get through um, small individual um, pains. Come Holy Spirit dwell among us Come with Pentecostal power, give the church a stronger vision, help us face each crucial hour, built upon a firm foundation, Jesus Christ the cornerstone, still the church is to mission that God's love shall be made known. We would raise our alleluias for the grace of yesteryears, for tomorrow's unknown pathway. Church's pilgrim journey, you have led us all the way. Still in presence, moved before us, fire by night and cloud by day.
by Kitty O'Meara. And the people stayed home and read books and listened and rested and exercised and made art and played games and learned new ways of being and were still and listened more deeply. Some meditated, some prayed, some danced, some met their shadows. And the people began to think differently and the people healed and in the absence of people living in ignorant, dangerous, mindless, and heartless ways, the earth began to heal. And when the danger passed and the people joined together again, they grieved their losses and made new choices and dreamed new images and created new ways to live and heal the earth fully as they had been healed. So Lord, this is my hope for the church everything that's said in this poem embodies my hope for the church and i hope that as we exercise and pray and listen and think more deeply and connect with each other through phone calls and through zoom calls that we not only grow as a church but that we grow in our faith in the lord in jesus name i pray amen Loving Creator, during this time of fear and confusion, it is easy to feel alone, but I know you are always with me and guiding me. So when the news and the situation that I am in becomes too much and I let myself be overcome with fear, I remember that you would never let me go through a trial such as this without providing me with the support and strength that I will need. Now let us repeat the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. May the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. <laughs>